Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're doing a solo overnight shelter build on my birthday. So stick around, we have an outstanding show coming up. Here we are once again, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. High of 70, low of 55, with 80% humidity in between. Tell you what, it's 9 a.m., I'm already soaking through this shirt. May have to take it off. Start rocking that dad bod all night long. Check this out. Today's my birthday. Birthday. Think back eons ago, decades. Dinosaurs had just died off. Cro-Magnum man was meeting modern man. You know, Neanderthals were dying off. Back in the day, I was a warrior, a king, a prince. Chicks wanted to do me, and dudes wanted to be me. Now I'm old and fat, turning 55 today. It's not the years, it's the mileage. Now on that note, I'm one of the few YouTubers that actually reads my comments. Not the only, but one of the few, I read every single comment. And the main comment has been about my tarp. Why do you always have a five by seven tarp? Don't you have a bigger tarp? Or get a bigger tarp, you're gonna get wet. So, being that's my birthday, I thought I'd change it up. Dug through everything. I found my old school 8x8 oilskin tarp from Tent Smiths. Brought it out here. We're gonna bushcraft a shelter. Trigger warning. We're gonna have a fire, bomb ass food, and we're gonna get it done. Here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna hang our tarp off a bipod. On top, a long ridge pole, okay? All the way down. Put that tarp over that ridge pole. Stake it down. Boom, 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 boom. Now we created a plow point configuration right here. Lower profile, probably about from chest all the way down, okay? Conserve that body heat. Now, one full step in front of us are the bipods, okay? Between those two bipod legs, you run a horizontal pole or a galley pole. Fire beneath that, windscreen before that, and we call it good. For those that don't know, or for those that choose to skip through my videos, all my gear can be found at two places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, the Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. Both links are inside my description box. How long are my poles? Here's what I'm thinking. It's an eight by eight tarp, so why not go with two eight footers for the bipod, no less than two inch in diameter. Can't go wrong with that. Now, the real tricky part, the length of that ridge pole. And here's what I'm thinking. The eight by eight is eight by eight by eight by eight. It's a square, okay? But we want the diagonal distance from corner to corner. How do we do that? Check this out. Hmm. Diagonal distance of a square. Hmm, good to go. First option, first choice right here, to calculate the diagonal of a square, multiply the length of one of the square's sides by the square root of two. Let's work smarter, not harder. Let's just say it's one and a half times. Eight plus four is 12. Our ridge pole has to be a minimum of 12 foot to support a diagonal tarp that's eight by eight. But remember we said we wanted to fire forward of our shelter. When we do that, we always want one full step. Those that were prior military, prior service, 
doesn't matter what branch it is, you know that's 40 inches back to chest, and you lean back and strut, right? So I'm thinking one full step, an additional three to four feet. So let's go ahead and add four feet, 16 foot ridge pull, and we're good to go. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, one more, sixty, because it's my birthday and I turned sixty. Take that coal crack of bushcraft, curls for the girls. And no, believe it or not, I'm not arrogant. But when you turn 62 out in the field like me, there's things you have to do daily to stay in shape. You gotta counteract that bacon grease. So what we've done here is we're going to toggle through our loop in our diagonal corner and tie the infamous arbor knot or jam knot. Stick down our opposite side, keeping our center loop in line with that pole. Now we just stake it out. Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. Check this out. 
do me a favor. If you like what you see here, please hit that like and subscribe button. And then do me a favor. Feel free to check out my other bushcraft videos and overnighters. This is just too easy. Check this out. That tarp being stick down back there is actually putting pressure on this ridge pole. It's forcing it between those two bipods. Probably not gonna go anywhere. However, there might be a chance of the bipod being knocked out of the way or slipping if you bumped into it in the night. So, once again, simple arbor knot or jam knot, tying that ridge pole to the bipods, not gonna go anywhere. Now the legs, to keep the legs from moving out on us or pulling away, one, they're wedged into the mud. Two, all we gotta do is form a simple stake and anchor the leg in this way and that way, and it ain't going anywhere. Tip and trick number one, how to make field expedient improvised stakes. Easy, find a Y branch and cut it. Nice, starting to rain a little bit, but would it be a video of mine if it didn't rain? Mind bender for you. Check this out. Tip and trick number two, how to make hooks for your galley pole. All we're gonna do once again is find a Y branch. Cut off the end right there where it forms the Y. Go down about two and a half, three inches, cut it again, and adjust the length to your liking. Down here, I'm gonna carve a simple notch, starting with an X. We're gonna carve it out, and it's gonna be a pot notch for the bale of our bush pot. Okay. And there's always option B. If you can't find a hook that's long enough, you make one.
So far so good, we're looking outstanding. The shelter's complete. Now to collect some firewood. So tip and trick number three, how to carry firewood in the field. So we got two sticks here, one slightly longer than the other. All we're gonna do is we're gonna tie these off with jam knots. Grab our firewood. Place it into our carrier. Now, longer one inside the shorter one. It creates a handle. And that's an easy peasy way of carrying firewood in the field. Chow time. Here's what I'm thinking. It's my birthday. I'm turning 65 years old. So I figured bacon grease seared ribeye, bacon wrapped corn, and topped off with a bacon vegetable. Tip and trick number four, how to season the ribeye in the field. I took this recipe from the old gray bearded green beret. Tell you what, this food looks outstanding. One thing I'm disappointed with though, is the bacon on the corn, that's weak. That's about half done at best. So we'll kind of disregard that. The corn though, oh man, is it soft, I can smell that butter. The bacon infusion. Oh man. Tell you what, that is great. Got sweet corn. Mm. And now for the ribeye. Happy birthday to me. Oh my God. Mm.
Tell you what, that is outstanding. That rub that's on there, dude, perfection. And now for the bacon taste test. As always, the food of the gods. You know, so today I'm turning 72. You know what my secret is to youth? Looking at it right here. This is outstanding. I'm going to finish all this. I'll get back to you in a minute. Yes, yes, I know. We got a thermal rest right there. And this is my Climate Static 5. Today's my 75th birthday. I'm old, arthritic, and I'm gonna be smoothing it all night. Tell you what, light's fading fast. Let's go ahead and knock this out. Nothing terribly important to talk about tonight, except for it's my birthday. I'm joking around. Joking aside, I'm 43 years old, okay? Um, 20 years ago, got out of the Marine Corps, and it's been a hell of a ride ever since. Um, I wanna say on my birthday that my birthday wish would be for you all to stay safe. Those of you that had your family members touched by this coronavirus and lost somebody, uh, that's horrible and I apologize and I feel bad for you. But we can rebuild, we can pick up what we left off, we can make this a better place like we talked about. Don't let this feeling, this good feeling of we're going to make a difference, we're going to make a change, we're going to get in the backyard, we're going to get out in the woods, we're going to take our kids out, we're going to teach them stuff. Don't let that fade away. Okay, so my birthday wish is for you all, keep the fire lit get out there, keep making it happen, and let's make a positive difference in our own lives, in our family's lives, our communities, our state, our government, and let's try to step off on a positive note and just keep putting the next foot in front of the other. Boom, 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 boom. Lean back and strut. Okay, we can do this. Um, People ask me, they say, you should take your day off on your birthday, but you know what, I promised you a weekly video, so here we are. It's kind of a cool shelter, we'll talk about it in the morning. I just wanted to get that out of the way and say, you know, thank you for everyone who's stuck around for 12 years, and thank you for all the new subs. My channel would be nothing without you guys. And I really appreciate you, and um, I look forward to 12 more years. Thanks a lot. That dinner is hitting hard. The heat from that fire is coming right here, and I got the reflective side up. It's actually moving around my body. I'm starting to sweat. And it's already humid out here too, so this might be a bad idea. I might flip it back over. I don't know. <sighs> Bacon grease, seared ribeyes. Bacon wrapped corn on the cob, infused with butter, and bacon vegetables. Tell you what. Man.
pretty much going to have intermittent rain all night. Uh, deal with that, but I'll be dry and I'll be warm. So catch you all in the morning. Well, it rained off and on all night, so and once again, I'm bone dry in a plow point configuration. Uh, uh. Tell you what, though, I'm getting spoiled with this thermorest and climate pad on top of it. Oh, man. Really go for a pair of them uh, power laces off oh, Back to the Future. Be like, <laughs> done. Why? Because I can. It's my 111th birthday, and I don't give an F. <sighs> nice. Let's go ahead and talk about that shelter real quick. Took our 8x8 oilskin tarp, stretched it over a ridge pole that was suspended by a bipod. Okay. Tied the bipod up with a shear lash. Something new. Haven't done it in a while. Created a plow point shelter. Now we incorporated those two front legs of that bipod with a galley pole making a kitchen followed by a small windscreen and a cooking fire. So it kind of wrapped everything all together and for the most part turned out well. It was a good night's sleep, um, rained off and on, and I was dry. So those that wanted a larger tarp, hope you're satisfied.
Welcome back. Last night's shelter build was outstanding. And in my opinion, not bad for somebody who turned 150. Just saying. As always, all the gear in my video can be found on my Amazon Influencer page or my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. Both those links are inside my description box. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.